Hey guys, what's up? Pete over here. Today I'm not gonna bore you with log splitting or anything like that. Today we're gonna do a video about this current month. It's almost over, but I wanna do like a sales update. Um, even though that we lost six days out of this month at the beginning because I had a suspension, so there was no sale. I mean, we got suspended for seven, but the first six days of this month, that's what we lost. So we still did good, um, not complaining by any means. We did 36 grand, sold 258 items. The average is still excellent, um, about 140 bucks. That's exactly where I wanna be at. So very happy with that. Uh, we did probably would sell, I'm thinking maybe 50, 60 more items. If it wasn't for a suspension, probably another seven, $8,000. Uh, but it is what it is. So I want to show you some I picked out like 15 I think 15 items They're interesting every one of them is a little bit different and I want to share it with you guys and Something to be on a lookout for so let's get into it All right, the first item. It's actually pretty cool. Definitely vintage uh, It's a Marlboro Radio It's a size of a pack of cigarettes uh, comes with an original box with the headphones. We paid five bucks for it and it sold for $49.95 with free shipping. Little tiny thing, very light, um, first class, but a great find. And it sold probably within two days. So very quick flip on this one. Now this was actually a funny segment in one of the videos that I made just a couple of days ago in a daily vlog. When you see me with Adrian, he's throwing like papers at me and I'm trying to catch him and put him inside uh, this box. Well, actually, that's what I was putting those papers in, into those Bud Light glasses. Um, they were 20 ounce glasses, so not that big, kind of standard size uh, glasses, 15 of them. And we paid five bucks for them. Sold for $60, took about took about two months to sell them so not super hard item but you know when you have five bucks in it why not $14.95 shipping now next here we got very unique item interesting but I tell you guys one thing it was pain in the butt to ship this this was a actually very very big painting this is mid-century modern uh, by, by uh, Vanguard like a musical instrument presentation painting it was very cool, but this thing was five feet tall and three feet wide. And it was pretty fragile. The frame wasn't in the best condition. The painting was, but it, it still, I we triple boxed this. I had to do special corners. It was very awkward, took forever to pack. And it took a very long time to sell. We originally paid hundred bucks for this. We had it listed for 500 bucks and every week basically we took like $10 off. Um, so you can do the math here. It sold for $264.95 actually with free shipping. And the shipping on this was like $35. So not the greatest profit. I mean, it did sell. It took a while, uh, but I'm not going to do it again. Pictures are very, very hard to ship unless you can take them out, roll them, and put them in a tube. Now, if you guys remember the video that I made about, I don't know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, I bought big speakers at uh, Goodwill um, from actually another another uh, reseller. He wasn't gonna buy him, he was gonna buy him. We went back and forth, so I ended up giving him extra few dollars. So I paid 10 bucks for the speakers and I gave him 10 bucks. I had $20 in those speakers. When we brought them back, I tested them, they worked perfectly, but I parted them out. The cabinets were in horrible condition. One of them was missing a mesh, the cover. So took out the tweeters. Now it had double sets of tweet. no, tweeters, mid wrench, and a sub in it. So tweeters sold $39.95 within just a couple days with $12.95 shipping. I still have the subs and the mid-range speakers. Um, 
this is the first time I ever came across this brand. Uh, Worfordale, Worfdale, I don't know exactly how you say it. So just keep an eye on those. Uh, obviously, pretty popular guys who are into audiophile definitely look for this stuff because it's sold relatively quickly. All right, here we got a Lincoln Electric uh, welding helmet. I do very well with welding helmets. Uh, especially if they're in a good condition and the glass up front is not scratched up. Um, this one we paid $25 for it, sold for $149.95 with $15 shipping. Took about a week to sell. This is one of those items that every time I get it, it sells extremely good. It's a vintage firefighter, you know, helmet. Um, this is that something that we picked up in that big lot. If you guys seen a video from about a month ago, uh, we went like picking style on this guy's property and he had all kinds of stuff. Mainly we picked up tools, but there was a lot of different stuff there too. This was one of them. Um, I probably have about, if you break everything down, about 10 bucks in it. Sold really quickly too, within a couple days, $119. Great flip. Always look out for fireman helmets. Doesn't matter condition, doesn't matter what era. People just like buying them. So, 119 bucks with $15 shipping, great flip. Here's one of those items that I absolutely love flipping. This is a Scott 370R receiver from 70s. It was very good condition, of course, made in Japan. Everything worked on it. Uh, but this is their lower grade model, so it won't bring like any crazy money. Similar model to actually to the one that it's sitting right here. Uh, this one is R376, the one that it sold, it's 370. Still good flip, we paid 20 bucks for it. Sold within a week, $150 with $35 shipping. All right, here we have uh, a Yamaha saxophone. This is a model 200 AD. Um, saxophones and in general musical instruments sell extremely well for me. I did pay up a little bit for this. We paid $120 for it, but it sold again within like probably three, four days, uh, $329 with $30 shipping. And it wasn't in the best condition. I mean, it, it, it did had scratches and dings and dents. Uh, it was well used, so but Yamaha is one of those brands that people like and they will pay for it, so this was a great flip. Next couple items that I'm going to show you came actually from the same pickup. I did a video about a week ago, a garage sale pickup that I bought a bunch of electronics from the guy for a hundred bucks. Um, and actually this unit that you are looking at right now, I came back for it, gave him additional $10 for it because it was in such a good condition and with remote control. And what was interesting for me, usually from late 80s and already early 90s, anything that was made, the Technics made, was not made in Japan. So this actually struck me because this particular double cassette deck was made in Japan um, and it has the Dolby BC so it was a decent actually deck that's why I came back for it gave him 10 bucks sold within a day $59.95 with $20 shipping now this next item came from the same garage sale so I bought about 11 items total out of there for $110 so on average about $10 a piece um, this one sold also very quickly, remote control, original manual, this thing was in beautiful condition, uh, everything worked on it perfectly, sold within a couple days, $129.95 with $24.95 shipping. So even though that like I tell you guys sometimes that 90s, eight, late 80s, early 90s, you know, technology when it comes to audio is not the best to go after, but there is some stuff that will you know bring pretty pretty good money all right this is a cool thing i actually thought for a minute i was going to keep it for myself but like i told you guys i'm trying to get away a little bit from collecting any more fishing stuff uh but this was like brand new uh vintage red cycloid 
Micromatic Fishing Reel made in Belvedere, Illinois, which is about an hour away from me here. Uh, original box. This wasn't new, but it was in fantastic condition. Um, this came in the lot with knives. It was actually buried in one of the boxes on the bottom. I had no idea I even bought this till I started taking stuff out out of one of the boxes and this was in it. Um, I knew it was pretty rare. They don't come up on the market very often and when they do um, they bring pretty good money. This one was in excellent condition. I decided to put this on auction. Seven day auction went for 140 bucks. 12 bids with $10 shipping, so a great flip. Now here's a very interesting item, and it, this is the first one for me. Never sold this brand before, uh, and it sold immediately. So keep an eye on this. This is made by the company called Vito Pro Pack. Uh, these are bags for guys who need to carry precise tools with them, like technicians. Um, this thing was so sturdy you can't it opens up and you got lots of different slots for different tools yeah, like meters or, or um, screwdrivers you know things like that but everything is so sturdy that cannot be squashed you know if they have multimeters and things like that this bag actually uh, brand new is like 280 bucks crazy money so this was used but in very very good condition I almost looked like nobody even used it sold for $159 with free shipping and it sold instantly so keep an eye on this company um, I definitely will this is the first one for me all right this next item I showed you guys this particular well not this exact item but garments the handheld GPS's um, I sell these almost every single month. Either they come into the shop or buy them at the garage sale uh, or whatever. I mean, they sell incredibly fast. Garmin is one of the better brands. Um, this one sold for $149. We paid 30 bucks for it with $10 shipping. And I know people have GPSs on their cell phones, but a lot of times, like hikers or hunters or fishermen, or ATV guys, no cell tower reception. So these become extremely handy for them. Uh, they're very small and they sell super quickly. 149 bucks with $30 investment. Why not if you know if it's an immediate sale? Keep an eye, keep an eye on those because they are good, good money makers. All right, guys, last item. We got to end this with the clothing item. This is a new one for me because I never sold this brand. Um, Venson, motorcycle jackets, leather jackets, super quality. The leather is thick, uh, padded um, elbows, padded shoulders. These jackets, when they're new, they're like five, six hundred, five, six hundred dollars. So super, super expensive. I was not aware of this brand, so this is the first one for me. I'll definitely keep an eye on it, uh, and you guys should too. This sold within one hour. We paid 80 bucks for it, uh, sold for 300 bucks with 1995 shipping, and like I said, it was an instant sale. So very, very good brand. All right, guys, this is it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I picked out some cool and interesting items. Every one of them was a little bit different. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video. I am really enjoying making these daily vlogs that I've been making this whole week, every single day. Although I gotta say, it is time consuming and I'm thinking Saturday, Sunday, I might take off unless something special happens that I gotta film and it's exciting to share with you guys. But I really appreciate all the comments. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, if you enjoy this type of video and all my daily vlogs, give it a thumb up. I would appreciate that. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe for more great content. Um, thank you very much, guys. Till next time. Cheers.